Hey everybody, welcome back to another 7 Habits of Highly Effective People with me, Jason Duncan, and results through integrity. Thank you for tuning in every week as I release this content on Mondays or Tuesdays on the 7 Habits of Highly Effective People. It's one of the most uh, impactful and formative books I've ever read, and I highly recommend that you go read it. What I've been doing this year is going through the 52 cards in the card deck called the 7 Habits of Highly Effective People by the Stephen Covey Group. And it gives you an activity, something to think about every single week of the year. And I thought this would be important to give content to you, my followers out on LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. I would ask you before we move into the content today to please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would be honored if you would do that. And make sure to hit the bell icon so that you get notified every week when I put out new videos. This week we're moving into a brand new of the seven habits of highly effective people. And the habit that we're going to get into for the next several weeks is think win-win. This is habit number four, think win-win. And we're on week number 28. So what does it mean? Let's go through the card. It says, consider other people's wins as well as your own. That is the activity that I want you to ponder this entire week. Consider other people's wins as well as your own. The two points on the front of the card say this, pick an important relationship that could benefit from win-win thinking. So think about it. Who is a relationship, what, who is a person you've got in your life that you have a relationship with that would benefit from win-win thinking? If you're in sales, maybe you need to start thinking about a win-win relationship between you and your prospects. Or maybe if you're an, a business owner, maybe it's a win-win between you and your employees. It goes on to say, write down your wins and the other person's wins. Don't know what they would consider a win? Ask. So maybe it's just you going to that person and saying, what would you consider a win in this transaction? What would you consider a win in the way that we're doing business? And if they say, well, I think a win would be X, Y, or Z, write that down and then contemplate how you can get what you want and they can get what they want as well. If you flip the activity card over to the back, it has an ask yourself question. And it says this, ask yourself this, in what relationships are you less likely to think win-win? What benefits would come from considering their wins? You know, I think all of us probably have relationships where we don't think win-win. We just think about win-lose. And we might not even think about the term lose, but we're only thinking about our win. And if only one person wins, then another person loses. Maybe it's when you're negotiating the price of a hotel room, right? You just want to get the win. You want to get a discount. Well, does that make the other person lose money because you negotiated so well? It could be a hotel room, it could be a cleaning company cleaning your office, it could be someone doing your landscaping. When you win and they lose, are you really winning anything worth winning? It goes on to say this, when we are highly effective, we value other people's wins equally to our own. We take time to identify both our wins and their wins. The quote from Stephen Covey this week says, win-win is not a technique, it's a total philosophy of human interaction. It is a frame of mind and heart that seeks mutual benefit in all interactions. Win-win sees life as a cooperative, not a competitive, arena. I hope that that helps you this week to consider other people's wins as well as your own. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would very much appreciate it if you did. Follow me on LinkedIn or Instagram at the Real Jason Duncan for other content. The personal stuff is usually on link on uh, Instagram, and all the business stuff is on LinkedIn. I would be happy to engage with you at either place. And remember, Jesus is King. <laughs>